Temples, heritage and natural beauty define India's best kept secret, Odisha. It is a land where tradition meets innovation. The state powers India producing 73% of the country's bauxite, 50% of iron ore, 24% of coal, 21% of crude steel. It also contributes 3% to India's GDP. But Odisha is climate vulnerable. It has lost 86,000 crore from natural disasters in the past two decades. Its industrial activities account for a tenth of India's greenhouse gas emissions. Which was very high during that time. Oh, Taku book, Chesta Kortelija Kete, com, hiperibo, Kemiti com, hiperibo. It remains in our Chalibo, Bostor, Bajabo, Gohomo, grinding hobo, three three press line or carry line, Ramu Price at Hojar, Poliozim, Masico, electric bill. Can observe Sujokan Japolas, so Solapan Labjorkuri, Parok Produscola, Motado Tandarela, Tava de more electric bill around. A transition from fossil fuels to renewable energy is the need of the hour, and Odisha is bracing for it. Its energy mix already consists of 2.7 gigawatt of renewables. Odisha has huge renewable energy potential. There is potential to install solar and water bodies. Odisha has large water bodies where floating solar can come. Orissa has also potential to install uh, solar energy as agricultural PV setup, as well as solar energy on rooftop and on land. So as far as renewable potential is concerned, Orissa has about 150 gigawatts of renewable energy potential. And the state has an ambitious policy on hydrogen. Orissa has large energy consumers in form of a steel plant and aluminium plant who will need electricity. And this electricity can be generated in the state and supply to these industries so that these industries can also be greened. By 2030, the state is set to increase this capacity to 11 gigawatts. While 7.5 gigawatts is solar, the rest is wind, small hydro, pumped storage and green hydrogen production. Today, if you look at Odisha, it's almost become a concentrated hub for green hydrogen and green ammonia. Uh, the policy ecosystem is really good. And uh, we also uh, chose Odisha in terms of ease of doing business here, in terms of policy clarity, in terms of policy stability. So these ecosystem advantages are there. Odisha is a state which has got a uh, very uh, concentrated space for steels and other industries. Well, adopting uh, green hydrogen could give a lot of leeway. We are developing almost 150 to 200 megawatts of intrastate solar open access power plants to power the industries in Odisha from solar power generated in the state. We also have a solar rooftop portfolio and most importantly we are developing a Dika factory manufacturing solar cells and modules right here in Bhuvaneshwar. So going forward we wish to work very closely with the state government which has been very supportive so far to power the renewable energy transition of the state. The recent uh, studies that were conducted have shown that there is also good wind potential at higher elevations. If you see the solar energy, it's available only during daytime, whereas wind is also available during nighttime, which supplements and balances out the renewable energy requirements for the state. The state offers incentives to households, industries and independent power producers. Clean energy schemes such as PM Surya Ghar aim to cover 1 lakh households while PM Kusum covers 10,000 pumps. Odisha re mu koi bhi 1500 rice miller maximum 1500 rice miller chhe. Sommostam ko pakhare shade chhe. Just like me, I have godowns and such shade chhe. To jo renewable energy pein jaga door kar. To ame kono se jaga ko bhi nostro korunu amos shade upar e aaram re panel bossi jau chhe. It's a win-win situation about the young of the pain. I'm industry pain, be our government pain. On Taro, the Gonkoradine, Moro, electricity bill, Egaru Baraza Pajantastula, Rodaki, Morebe, Bill Tincharia Rasuji. Our Sito Dine, Hento, Charipanchari, Bitre Rodula, the Seta, but then Asio in a totally Sito Dine. Over the past year, renewable energy projects with a combined capacity exceeding 2.4 gigawatts have been approved with more tenders on the way. 
from floating solar farms to rooftop installations and utility scale ventures, Odisha presents a wealth of opportunities. Yes, we will move with the times, we will move with the thought process of the Honorable Prime Minister. We are looking at 2036, we are looking at 2047, we are looking at 2070. Odisha is turning renewable. Are you?